Yes guys, welcome back to another video I'm doing here on the channel today. We're back with another Saving the Tigers video. Uh, the playoff special is here. I know we shouldn't be in a playoff special, but we are, so we just have to get on with it. Uh, York is the team who, we, who, who we've got in the semi-finals. And, and yeah, hopefully we can get the win and go through to the... Um, the, the, the final of the playoffs, the team putting out their stage, hopefully pick up the victories. Ravas in goal, we have Burton, Murray, Denham and Chickson at the back. We have Thomas, Estrada and Defeat in central midfield. We have Stanley on the right, Chakwana on the left and McKendie up front. And um, and yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm positive. I've had, I've had some time to uh, reflect and yeah, I'm positive that we can pick up the victory here and, um, and, and we can sort of get through to the final and then win the final and, and get promoted, you know, that's, um, I'm taking a positive stance on, on, on this save today, um, and yeah, so it should be a good game and hopefully, like I said, we can win. Ravas on the ball to Denham, we're going to play it through the middle, um, passing from the back, but then all of a sudden, as I'm saying that, we thump it forward. Stanley on the ball now. He's gone down. That's a penalty kick, and Josh Thomas is going to take this one. Is he? Yeah, I think he is, to be fair. I don't really know. I'll try to click the change of the penalty taker button, and I missed the and I missed the button, and I don't know what happened there, to be honest. But Thomas takes, and Thomas scores. There we go. 1-0 up in this playoff semi-final. Josh Thomas with his fifth goal of the season. Potentially the man who, who has been like the player of the season. Um, not just for us, but for everyone in the division. All the teams. Curzon and Ashton winning in their game. Their semi-final against Boston. The team that finished second in the end. So the team that finished above us. Uh, but so yeah, we, I mean, if, if we had to choose, I suppose we'd rather play Boston than Curzon. But you know, we don't, we we're, we're not too fast. We'll play anyone because we've got to beat them. You know, we've just had a chance there, and we've um we haven't taken it. Good save from the goalkeeper, and yeah, we're do, we're doing well in this half. I'm happy with how things are going so far. Denham has picked up a booking, so I might have to just tell him just to calm down a little bit, ease off the tackles, and um. And yeah, dominant first half performance. I'm happy that we got the win because what was happening was we were getting putting in dominant performances and then not picking up, picking up the victory. You know, not taking it over the line. Not you know. So uh, so yeah, very very happy with the fact that we've gone out there and and got a goal in the first half, even though it was a penalty. Um, but it puts us in a commanding position. Thomas now plays it into Chakwana. His shot is blocked, and now here comes York on the counter attack. Um, but gotta be careful with this. Um, Great, phenomenal tackle from Defeas there. That was a that was an amazing tackle from Lucas Defeas, a man who has really found his form when others around him have have you know have lost theirs. It's York side; they're a good side. They're a very good team. Um, it's now three three in the Curzon Boston game. Much sort of better, more competitive affair going on over there. That could be going to extra time. Or well, I'm not sure if it. Oh, we've given a penalty away. I was about to say, we're not sure if it goes to penalties or extra time, and we've now given the penalty away against York, um, and they've scored, and that is not ideal. It was Josh Thomas gives away a penalty. He goes from hero to zero. And, um, and yeah, that's not ideal. Um, quite annoying, actually, that, um, that that's happened. Thomas now with the corner, whipped in, easily caught by the goalkeeper. No one even challenging for the ball there. It's played forward by the keeper and now York are through on goal and they shoot and Ravas saves it onto the bar and um, Murray clears it. If we lose this game from here, it would be a travesty. Thomas whips it in and there's the goal in 92nd minute. Potentially winner from Jeremy, Jeremy McCundy, a man who has scored important goals all season. He's done it again in the 20, his 21st goal of the season. It was a cross in from Thomas from the corner. And McKendie with the free header inside the six-yard box. And it's 4-4 in the other game. So we don't know we, we don't know um, what's going to happen, who we're playing. Well, we're about to find out, though. It went... Oh, Curzon Ashton got a 96th minute... Is that a win or did it go to extra time? I don't know. It doesn't say it went to extra time. Um, no, it doesn't. But, um, but yeah, I mean, we had 3,000 fans crammed into the Jubilee Stadium for that performance by us. Um, it was a vintage display. Bring the 
we win this playoff semi-final, we're through to the final. Brown played us all perfectly. What's this? Um, Matt Brown will be certainly be thinking he got the better of you in the match and the build-up to it. Do you think it's fair for you to say he cracked under the pressure a bit? I think Matt certainly did his best to increase the pressure on us for the match, and ultimately his side have come away with a good result. Maybe when he's working, being less effective, or this sort of thing. Well, that's that's a load of rubbish because there was no. He said their manager said that it's just another game, and the media are building it up. And I said exactly the same. So I don't understand what I like agreed with him. So I don't understand exactly what um what he's talking about there. But yeah, I mean we're we're going to be back in just a few moments with the playoff final. Um, it always feels good to say that, but um. But yeah, the playoff final against Kurz and Ashton in just a second. Yes, guys, I said we were back with the second game of the video, the massive playoff final against Kurz and Ashton at the Tameside Stadium, which is where Kurz and Ashton play their home football. Uh, they, we're playing at their ground because they get the home advantage because they finished above us in the league. Um, but yeah, I mean, no changes to the team. Should be a good game. Just a quick reminder, we have Ravas in goal. We have Burton, Murray, Denham and Chickson at the back. We have Thomas Estrada and Defeas in the central midfield area. We have Stanley on the right, Chakwana on the left, and McKendy up front. And yeah, I mean, that's the team we're putting out there to hopefully gain promotion to the Van Arma National, uh, the Van Arma National League. And, and, and yeah, it should be a good game. Obviously, Kurz and Ashton are a good side. We're going to have to play out of our skin to, to beat them. Um... I, I would say, you know, halfway through the season, this would be an easy game, but, you know, things change. McKendy scored, low inside two minutes. Jeremy McKendy with his 22nd goal of the season. He had two attempts at it. The ball was played over the top by Lucas Defees. And McKendy brought it down and had the shot, and Mason saved it. And then he had another chance from the rebound, and he put it in the net, made no mistake for the second attempt. And that's 1-0, and this 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 could be a shock result if we somehow pick something up from this, because our, our form has been dreadful. I can't, I literally can't stress how much or how poor we've been at our form. It's just been ridiculous. So, um, so yeah, I think if, if we did win this game, it would be a huge um, accomplishment, but it's a huge shock as well, you know. McKendy scored again. I don't believe what I'm witnessing. Jeremy McKendy with his 23rd goal of the season. This time Oliver Denham with the assist. He played it over the top from the free kick and McKendy just ran onto it and first time puts it in the back of the net. And there we go. It's it's 2-0 and literally I remember they beat us in the league. I think on a video. I did a video for it and, and they beat us. And... Um, and yeah, it was quite sort of an upsetting defeat, really, a disappointing defeat. And uh, But today, obviously, we're playing well, but, you know, that doesn't mean a thing. We have to sort of keep it up and keep, you know, playing well and defending well. And, and hopefully we can we can get the win. You know, it's end-to-end -end stuff as well, so it'll be good for the neutral. Obviously, nerve-wracking for us. Look at our fans behind the goal. We've, clicked, we've filled the whole stand behind the goal of Gloucester fans who have turned up for this game. They'll be getting a good gate for this one, um, a good amount of money from the gate, and, and hopefully, you know, we'll get a percentage of that. Um, I think we do. Um, so yeah, we should get a little bit of money as well. It looks like a sold out, sold out crowd here today for this game. We've given it away in a silly position, but luckily their man can't capitalise, and it's a good save from our goalkeeper Henrik Ravas. And yeah, I mean, it's we. We're into the second half now, and we're trying to, yeah, we're we're trying to sort of keep our lead intact. We've had three bookings in in all coming in the first half, um, so we're going to have to keep an eye on, keep an eye on that, you know, and make sure that no one gets sent off because that would really sort of change the, you know, the layout of the game really. The, how it's going. McKendy's won the ball back half the pitch and scored and there's the hat trick for Jeremy McKendy. I can't I literally I can't believe what I'm seeing here. McKendy has scored a hat trick in the playoff final. I'm actually gonna bring Chakwana off now. I'm not having the best of games. He's been booked. Um so we're gonna put McKendy on, on that attacking midfield left position and um and we're gonna put Kennedy up front, see if he can score, get on the score sheet. 
but yeah, a, an amazing performance from Jeremy McKendy and, and the whole team really. Our defence. You look at the you look at our def the rating of our defenders and our you know Josh Thomas as well having a phenomenal performance. He's all round. Um, and yeah, I mean we're gonna about to get hit on the counter attack there. They've got a man over and they're through on goal and they've scored, and we couldn't keep the clean sheet. Um, so what, I didn't like the fact that they had a man over there. So we're just gonna bring these players back, our fullbacks back, and make them defend, just to give us the extra bodies back there, what it should do. Uh, Stanley to Thomas, Thomas back to Stanley. Or Thomas cross it in, sorry, and McKendy with the header. That's his 25th goal of the season. That's four goals today. Thomas with a throw, and he threw it to Stanley. First time, take it back to Thomas, who took a touch and crossed it in, and McKendy with a free header. Perhaps the goalkeeper should do better, but he doesn't, and it's gone in the back of the net. Uh, and, and yeah, very, very happy with that. Going to make another sub. James Boot's going to come on for Estrada, who's had quite a sort of standard game. You know, he's, he's done okay, but... Um, But yeah, it's good to bring James Boot on, have a good bench, that's good. Um, to Feast, to Thomas, plays it over the top, it's cleared, but McKendy's got it, he plays it back to Thomas, to Chickson. We're into added time now, and I think we'll let him have that league win that happened not so long ago, because we'll have the playoff final win. Um, and it's 4-1 now, with, with three, in a, 3 minutes and 25 seconds to go. And, uh, and yeah, we should just see it through now to the end of the game. And there it is. What a game. And there we are lifting the playoff trophy. Um, and, yeah, there's all the sort of confetti coming down. It's a shame that it's at Curzon's ground and it's not in front of a sold-out home capacity crowd at, uh, at, at the Jubilee Stadium. But, um, but yeah, we did it. We somehow did it. Nobody gave us a chance and we did it. And that is just absolute, what an amazing feeling. Uh, the playoffs, we've been promoted, Gloucester win in the Vanarama North playoff final. Injury worry for their man. Yeah, that's fair enough. Gloucester promoted. KG press conference from their man, what does he say? Um, well, not a lot. The budget for next season, £13,25,000 wage. That's pretty decent, I suppose. Harris praises Brown for promotion. Who is this? Oh, it's the spokesman for the official supporters club. The Gloucester board are praising us. Um, we're a year ahead of schedule winning promotion to the Vanarama National. McKendie was on cracking, phenomenal form. Um, collective bonuses, yeah, that's fair enough. Who won the FA Trophy? Chesterfield. I thought it was Kingsden versus someone. Oh, yeah, it's Kingsden versus Chesterfield. Chesterfield won. That's fair enough. Um, but yeah, what a season. We're gonna have, we've got some stuff to do. We're going to have to... Um, because I'm not being funny. Can we still see our, like, form? No, it's not that one. I want to... Where's, like, the... Um, schedule... Calendar... No. I want to see the re results that we've had. I don't know. But yeah, it, it was poor form at the end of the season. What it, It's the only reason we didn't win the league. You know, we should have won the league, but obviously we didn't. So we'll take... We'll take um, third position and winning through the playoffs and some amazing performances throughout the season. We'll have a quick look at the stats. Um, or just the overview... Wait, what do I want to look at? I want to look at... I'm not too sure what I want to look at. I want to look at just this screen. Okay, then, yeah. McKendie, our top goal scorer, 25 goals. Josh Thomas was the highest average rating in the team. He got the most assists with 16 as well. Best pass completion, Tom Smith, 90%. Most player of the batch awards, Hanks and Thomas, both got six. Brad Burton got 13 yellow cards. Um, did we not have any red cards? Is that what that means? I'm not sure. Um, we're going to look at... Can we look at the... Um, the award winners? 
team of the week. What do you want to say? Manager of the no, manager of the season. Last last season we haven't. Where's like the who the stats? And look at that player. That here we go. Top goal scorer McKendy with 23 goals. This I thought he got 25. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, I don't even know. It says he got 23 goals, but we he got 25. Um, yeah, I don't know. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But yeah, happy with that. Very, very happy with how the season's ended. It, it didn't look like it was going to go so well towards the end there. But it, it, it has happened. Um, and yeah, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you next time for another video. Cheers.